Mariah Carey, born March 27, 1969, is an American singer, songwriter, record producer, and actress. Referred to as the Songbird Supreme by Guinness World Records, she is noted for her songwriting, five-octave vocal range, melismatic singing style and signature use of the whistle register. An influential figure in popular music, Carey is credited with influencing vocal styles, merging hip-hop with pop through her collaborations and popularizing remixes. She has also been dubbed the Queen of Christmas for the enduring popularity of her holiday music, particularly the 1994 song All I Want for Christmas Is You, which is the best-selling holiday song by a female artist. Carrie rose to fame in 1990 with her self-titled debut album under the guidance of Columbia Records executive Tommy Motola, whom she later married in 1993. She is the only artist to date to have their first five singles reach number one on the Billboard Hot 100, from Vision of Love to Emotions. Carrie gained worldwide success with her albums, Music Box 1993 and Daydream 1995, both of which rank among the list of best-selling albums, and spawned singles such as Dream Lover, Hero, Without You, Fantasy, Always Be My Baby, and One Sweet Day. The latter most of these topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Decade End Chart 1990s. After separating from Motola, Carrie adopted a new urban image and began incorporating hip-hop and R&B elements with the release of Butterfly 1997 and Rainbow 1999. By the end of the 1990s, Billboard ranked Carrie as the most successful artist of the decade in the United States. She left Columbia Records in 2001 after 11 consecutive years of U.S. number no. 1 singles and signed a record deal with Virgin Records. Following a highly publicized breakdown and the failure of her film Glitter and its accompanying soundtrack, Virgin bought out Carrie's contract, and she signed with Island Records the following year. After a brief, mildly successful period, Carrie returned to the top of the charts with The Emancipation of Mimi 2005, which became one of the best-selling albums of the 21st century. Its second single, We Belong Together, topped the U.S. Billboard Hot 100 Decade End Chart 2000s. Her subsequent ventures included roles in the films Precious 2009, The Butler 2013, A Christmas Melody 2015, and The Lego Batman Movie 2017, being an American Idol judge, starring in the docuseries Mariah's World, performing multiple concert residencies, and publishing the memoir The Meaning of Mariah Carey 2020. Carey is one of the best-selling music artists, with over 220 million records sold worldwide, and is an inductee of the Songwriters Hall of Fame, the National Recording Registry at the Library of Congress and the Long Island Music and Entertainment Hall of Fame. She was ranked as the second greatest woman in music by VH1 in 2012 and the fifth greatest singer by Rolling Stone in 2023. Billboard named her the top charting female solo artist, based on both album and song chart success. She holds the record for the most Billboard Hot 100 number no. 1 singles by a solo artist, 19, a female songwriter, 18, and a female producer, 15 spending a record 92 weeks atop the chart. Carrie is the highest certified female artist in the United States and 10th overall, with 75 million certified album units. Among her accolades are 5 Grammy Awards, 10 American Music Awards, 16 Billboard Music Awards, and 12 Guinness World Records. Early Luffy Carrie was born on March 27, 1969, uh, in Huntington, New York. Her name is derived from the song They Call the Wind Maria, originally from the 1951 Broadway musical Paint Your Wagon. She is the youngest of three children born to Patricia and registered trademark paragraph sign E. Hickey, a former opera singer and vocal coach of Irish descent, and Alfred Roy Carey, an aeronautical engineer of African-American and Afro-Venezuelan lineage. The last name Carey was adopted by her Venezuelan grandfather. Francisco N. Registered Trademark Less Than Equals A with Circle Zero A Diaris's Nine Es, after he emigrated to New York. Patricia's family disowned her for marrying a black man. 
racial tensions prevented the Carey family from integrating into their community. While they lived in Huntington, their neighbors poisoned the family dog and set fire to their car. After her parents' divorce, Carrie had little contact with her father, and her mother worked several jobs to support the family. Carrie spent much of her time at home alone and began singing at age three, often imitating her mother's take on Verdi's opera Regaletto in Italian. Her older sister Allison moved in with their father while Mariah and her elder brother Morgan lived with their mother. During her years in elementary school, she excelled in the arts, such as music and literature. Carrie began writing poetry and lyrics while attending Howard Borfield's High School in Green Lawn, New York, where she graduated in 1987. Carrie began vocal training under the tutelage of her mother. Though she was a classically trained opera singer, Patricia Carey never pressured her daughter to pursue a career in classical opera. Mariah Carey recalled that she had never been a pushy mom. She never said, give it more of an operatic feel. I respect opera like crazy, but it didn't influence me. In high school, Mariah Carey was often absent because of her work as a demo singer. This led to her classmates giving her the nickname Mirage. Working in the Long Island music scene gave her opportunities to work with musicians such as Gavin Christopher and Ben Margulies, with whom she co-wrote material for her demo tape. After moving to New York City, she worked part-time jobs to pay the rent and completed 500 hours of beauty school. Carrie moved into a one-bedroom apartment in Manhattan with four female students as roommates. She landed a gig singing backup for freestyle singer Brenda K. Starr. Career 1988 Registered Trademark Scene 1992, Career Beginnings, Debut Album and Emotions In December 1988, Carrie accompanied Starr to a music executive's party, where she handed her demo tape to the head of Columbia Records, Tommy Motola. Columbia spent upwards of $1 million promoting Carrie's debut studio album, Mariah Carey. The following year Carrie co-wrote, co-produced and recorded her second studio effort, Emotions. Carrie did not embark on a world tour to promote the album 1993-1996, Music Box, Merry Christmas, and Daydream After Emotions failed to achieve the commercial heights of her debut album, Carrie's subsequent release was to be marketed as adult contemporary and pop friendly. In mid-1994, Carrie recorded and released a duet with Luther Vandross, a cover of Lionel Richie and Diana Ross's Endless Love. Merry Christmas, released on November 1, 1994, became the best-selling Christmas album, with global sales of over 15 million copies. Carrie's fifth studio album, Daydream, found her consolidating creative control over her career, leading to tensions with Columbia. Daydream became Carrie's biggest-selling album in the United States, and her second album to be certified diamond by the RIA, after Music Box. During the recording of Daydream, Carrie also worked on the alternative rock album Someone's Ugly Daughter by the band Chick, contributing writing, production, vocals and art direction 1997-2000, New Image with Butterfly, and Rainbow Carrie's subsequent musical releases followed the trend that began with Daydream after concluding her Butterfly World Tour, Carrie participated in the VH1 Divas Benefit Concert on April 14, 1998, where she sang alongside Aretha Franklin, Celine Dion, Shania Twain, Gloria Estefan, and Carole King. With only one album left to fulfill her contract with Sony, and with a burning desire to separate herself professionally from the record label her ex-husband still headed, Carrie completed the album in three months in mid-1999. 2001-2004, Personal and Professional Setbacks, Glitter and Germ Bracelet Carrie received Billboard's Artist of the Decade Award and the World Music Award for Best Selling Pop Female Artist of the Millennium, 98, and parted from Columbia Records. She signed an unprecedented $80 million five-album recording contract with Virgin Records MI Records in April 2001. In July 2001, Carrie suffered a physical and emotional breakdown. She began posting disturbing messages on her website, and behaved erratically in live promotional outings. On July 26, Carrie was hospitalized due to exhaustion and a physical and emotional breakdown. 
Carrie's record deal with Virgin Records was bought out for $28 million. She flew to Capri, Italy, for five months, where she wrote material for a new album in December 2002. Carrie released her ninth studio album, Charm Bracelet, which she said marked a new lease on life for her 2005 to 2007 resurgence with the emancipation of Mimi Carey, pictured with former Island Records head Louisiana Raid, at the release party for the emancipation of Mimi in 2005 Carey's 10th studio album, The Emancipation of Mimi in 2005, was produced with the Neptunes, Kanye West and Carey's longtime collaborator, Jermaine Dupri. During the week of September 25, 2005, Carey set another record, becoming the first woman to occupy the first two spots atop the Hot 100, as We Belong Together remained at number one, and her next single, Shake It Off, moved into the number two spot. Ashanti had topped the chart in 2002 while being a featured singer on the number two single. The Emancipation of Mimi earned 10 Grammy Award nominations, 8 in 2006 for the original release, the most received by Carrie in a single year, and two in 2007 for the Ultra Platinum Edition. Carrie won Best Contemporary R&B Album and Best Female R&B Vocal Performance and Best R&B Song for We Belong Together. The Emancipation of Mimi was the best-selling album in the United States in 2005, with nearly 5 million units sold. It was the first album by a solo female artist to become the year's best-selling album since Alanis Morissette's Jagged Little Pill in 1996. At the end of 2005, the IFB reported that The Emancipation of Mimi had sold more than 7.7 .7 million copies globally, and was the second best-selling album of the year after Coldplay's X and Y. It has since sold 12 million copies worldwide. In support of the album, Carrie embarked on her first headlining tour in three years, named The Adventures of Mimi after a Carrie-centric fan's music diary. The tour spanned 40 dates, with 32 in the United States and Canada, 2 in Africa, and 6 in Japan. It received warm reception from music critics and concert goers, many of which celebrated the quality of Carrie's vocals. 2008-2009 E equals MCA with circle zero O diaris's five, memoirs of an imperfect angel, and precious in early 2007, Carrie began to work on her 11th studio album, E equals MCA with circle zero O diaris's five. Although the album was well received by most critics, some of them criticized it for being very similar to the formula used on the emancipation of Mimi. E equals MCA with Circle Zero O Diaris's 5 debuted at number 1 on the Billboard 200 with 463,000 copies sold, the biggest opening week sales of her career in 2009, she appeared as a social worker in Precious, the movie adaptation of the 1996 novel Push by Sapphire. On September 25, 2009, Carrie's 12th studio album, Memoirs of an Imperfect Angel, was released. On December 31, 2009, Carrie embarked on her seventh concert tour, Angels Advocate Tour, which visited the United States and Canada and ended on September 26, 2010. 2010 to 2014, Merry Christmas to you and me. I am Mariah the Elusive Chantus following the cancellation of Angels Advocate. It was announced that Carrie would return to the studio to start work on her 13th studio album. On March 1, 2012, Carrie performed at New York City's Gotham Hall. Her first time performing since her pregnancy. In February 2013, Carrie recorded and released a song called Almost Home, for the soundtrack of the Walt Disney Studios film Oz the Great and Powerful. In October 2014, Carrie announced an annual residency show All I Want for Christmas is You, a night of joy and festivity. 2015 to 2017, number one to Infinity Residency, television and film projects on January 30, 2015, it was announced that Carrie had left Universal Music Group's Def Jam Recordings to reunite with Louisiana Raid and Sony Music via Epic Records. On March 15, 2016, Carrie announced that she was filming Mariah's World, a docu-series for the E! 
network documenting her sweet sweet fantasy tour and her wedding planning process. On February 3, 2017, Carrie released the single I Don't featuring E. 2018 to 2019, Caution and Merry Christmas reissue in 2018, Carrie signed a worldwide deal with Live Nation Entertainment. In February 2019, Carrie commenced the Caution World Tour in support of the album. 2020 registered trademark present, The Rarities and the Meaning of Mariah Carey in January 2020, it was announced that Carrie would be inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. Carrie's 2020 Christmas Special, Mariah Carey's Magical Christmas Special, premiered on December 4, 2020, on Apple TV Plus along with a soundtrack. A new version of Carrie's 2010 song, Oh Santa, featuring Ariana Grande and Jennifer Hudson, was released as a single the same day. On January 12, 2022, Carrie announced a children's picture book titled The Christmas Princess, co-written with Michaela Angela Davis and illustrated by Fuji Takashi. It was released in November that year. On September 16, 2022, an expanded version of Butterfly was released for the 25th anniversary of the album. In February 2023, the 2009 track It's a Rap experienced a revival on TikTok, prompting Carrie to release an app for the song, which included a new sped-up version. Personal Luffy Carrie began dating Tommy Motola while recording Mariah Carey, and they were married in New York City on June 5, 1993, during a half-million dollar ceremony at St. Thomas Church. The newlyweds moved into a custom-built mansion referred to by Carrie as Sing Sing, located on a 51-acre estate in Bedford, New York, alluding to her feeling imprisoned there. After the release of Daydream and the success that followed, Carrie began focusing on her personal life, which was a constant struggle at the time. Their relationship began to deteriorate due to their growing creative differences in terms of her music, as well as Motola's controlling nature. They announced their separation on May 30, 1997, and their divorce was finalized by the time Motola remarried on December 2, 2000. In 1998, their home together was sold for $20.5 million to Nelson Peltz and burned down in 1999. Carrie with her children in 2019 Carrie was in a relationship with baseball shortstop Derek Jeter from 1997 to 1998, and with singer Luis Miguel from 1998 to 2001. She met actor and comedian Nick Cannon while they shot the music video for her song Bye Bye on an island off the coast of Antigua. They were married on April 30, 2008, in the Bahamas. In the same year, Carrie suffered a miscarriage. At 35 weeks into her next pregnancy, she gave birth to their fraternal twins, Moroccan and Monroe, on April 30, 2011, via a caesarean section. In August 2014, Cannon confirmed he and Carrie had separated. He filed for divorce on December 12, 2014, which was finalized in 2016. In 2015, Carrie began dating Australian billionaire James Packer and, on January 21, 2016, she announced they were engaged. By October, however, they had called off the engagement. In October 2016, she began dating American choreographer Brian Tanaka. Carrie is an active Episcopalian. She stated in 2006, I do believe that I have been born again in a lot of ways. I think what I've changed are my priorities and my relationships with God. I feel the difference when I don't have my private moments to pray I'm a fighter, but I learned that I'm not in charge. Whatever God wants to happen is what's going to happen. I feel like I've had endless second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth chances. It's by the grace of God I'm still here. In April 2018, Carrie opened up about taking therapy sessions and medication for her struggle with bipolar 2 disorder. She was diagnosed in 2001 and initially kept the diagnosis private.